Georgia. As the games here in Vancouver continue, among the highlight speed skater Apollo Ono races to become the most decorated U.S. Winter Olympic athlete ever. Racing along with Ono will be his teammate, J.R. Selsky, who took bronze last Saturday when Ono won the silver medal. Selsky's back in competition just six months after he suffered a grave injury on the ice. His story tonight from NBC's Ron Mott. Ready? It happened in a flash last September, with J.R. Selsky's proud parents watching, recording the memories. Slip, crash, pain, then blood. I felt every minute of the pain and how stunned everybody else was. Their ink was completely silent. My mom was screaming, and that's the only thing I heard. His left thigh sliced to the bone by his own skate blade, his femoral artery, possibly even his life, spared by a mere inch. I fell a couple times, didn't seem to bother him. From three-year-old roller skater to world-class speed skater, the 19-year-old had finally caught hometown rival and Olympic star Apollo Ono. And now, it seemed, Zelski's charge to the top was over. Or was it? To keep his Vancouver hopes alive, JR spent much of the fall here at the U.S. Olympic Complex in Colorado, surrounded by a team of sports medicine professionals. Even they thought he faced very long odds to get back on the ice in time. Recovery would prove painful, physically and emotionally. He was poked and prodded, pulled and stretched, imaged and analyzed. You can still see the blood on the tape. Yet just 60 days after the accident, J.R. Selsky sharpened the very blade that had betrayed him and went skating. Oh my God. Closing in once again on his Olympic debut with every determined stride, finding purpose in the struggle. And he says, you know, Dr. Moreau, he says, I'm really glad this happened to me. This is the first injury I have. And you know what? He said, I learned about myself. Now I know that I can meet adversity. You're looking good, though. Thank you. Olympic speed skating legend Eric Hyden, now a surgeon for Team USA involved in the initial assessment of JR's injury, says such adversity might have defeated many others. People will sort of dwell on their injuries and it'll become a big hurdle for them. For him, it was just a little speed bump in the road. And it was literally a speed bump that catapulted Selsky onto the Olympic podium for the first time. I knew that if I didn't think about anything but racing that night, that I'd prevail. A bronze medal and a leg up on one of the sport's most dramatic setbacks. Ron Mott, NBC News, Colorado Springs.